This is what I'm using here. When you change your diet for a period, I think over seven days, and you're skinny, your body can start to eat your bones and stuff. So I'm using this right here. You don't have to do this if you've got some extra weight on you. But as you can see, <laughs> your girl's not working with all that, but I'm still concentrating for the Lord. And I have a question. Some of you guys were like, well, why would you do a fast? You're so skinny, you know. Why would a bony person like you, you've been sick, you lost weight, you haven't been able to gain it all back yet. Why would you do this? I got a Bible for Christmas. And um, she still got some version pages on her because I just got her on the 10th. And... Um, I'm doing this fast now for five days, but I went on the Google, and you know, you can find out everything on Google. You can use Google for the Lord, or you can use Google for the devil. It's just your choice. And Daniel chapter 10, I'm going to read it to you. And if you have any questions about my understanding of this word of God, because I know revelation has to come to us from God, we can all read the scripture. The devil reads the scripture, but he doesn't have understanding because the Holy Spirit has to give you understanding. So if for right now this scripture is confusing to you, I was given a new, I was given an NIV. Um, what kind of Bible is that? New International Version, that's what I was given. So it's supposed to be understandable. Without further ado, Jesus, thank you for the Word of God. Thank you for this time of consecration. Thank you for preparing the way for us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. While I'm reading this scripture, just say thank you, Jesus, in your heart over and over, not with your mouth and your body, but in your heart, so that the Holy Spirit can reveal to you the revelation that he has for you about the fast of Daniel. Okay, so here we go. Daniel, I'm starting at verse 1, because this is where it explains why I am consecrating myself. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia. A revelation was given to Daniel. Let me say that again. This is why I'm doing my fast. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a revelation was given to Daniel, who was called Belteshazzar. Its message was true, and it concerned a great war. The understanding of the message came to him in a vision. So those are the scriptures that are, that summarizes, that's like a summary in this, in this chapter. At the beginning, it tells you what's happened, what happened. And now we're going to get into what Daniel did to get revelation and vision. And this is an important vision. And he was in an important position. He was next to important people. So, Daniel, verse, I'm sorry, Daniel chapter 10, verse 2. This is what people quote. This is the fast. At that time, I, Daniel, mourned for three weeks okay let me pull out my little crayon here mourned for three weeks i ate no choice food no meat or wine touched my lips and i used no lotions at all until the three 
weeks were over. Okay, so I've never heard about the no lotions and I've been taking baths and using creams. What I have been doing on this fast is no meat, no wine, and that's where I've been going with that. Now, the no choice food is something that that would be hard for me to understand. So I'm thinking that means like because he was in the king's house, no feasting, no foods, delicacies. I haven't been eating desserts, cookies, candies, that kind of thing. So I have, um, I have a soreness in my throat. So I have been using peppermints to deal with that. Not much, but I, I have been doing it. And I have taken the sweetener out of my teas and I haven't drank coffee, which I enjoy coffee. But you don't have to do all that. This is a time of consecration. He mourned for three weeks. Now that I haven't been doing on a high level, but in my spirit, there is some mourning over what's going on now. So let's read that again, because the word of God is a mystery. It's not easy. We have to reverence God. He is higher than us. He is smarter than us. And his word is of him. It's on his level. It's like talking to a PhD professor in physics or science or microbiology. He's deeper than he appears to be to us who are comparatively simple. At that time, let me go back a little bit because I want to make sure you remember what he, what he, what we're talking about. The understanding of the message came to him in a vision. At that time, I, Daniel, mourned for three weeks. I ate no choice foods, no meat or wine touched my lips, and I used no lotions at all until the three weeks were over. Verse 4. On the 24th day of the first month, that's January, as I was standing on the bank of the great river, the Tigris, I looked up and there before me was a man dressed in linen with a belt of fine gold from up has around his waist. His body was like topaz. He was an African people. His face was like lightning. He was full of God. His eyes like flaming torch. Holy Spirit. His arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze. Wow. I don't know what to say about that. If you got a revelation, leave it in the comments. And his voice like the sound of a multitude. Wow. Again, I don't have a revelation about that particular thing at this time. If you do, leave it in the comments. Chapter, verse number seven. I, Daniel, was the only one who saw the vision. Let me repeat that. Chapter... Chapter 10, verse 7. I, Daniel, was the only one who saw the vision. Those who were with me did not see it. But such terror overwhelmed them that they fled and hid themselves. I want that. That is why I am doing this fast. That is right. I'm right now. I'm doing my consecration with you. This is my morning consecration. I want that. Let me tell. You. Verse seven is a part of the results. Verse four tells when he got it. Verse four is on the twenty fourth day of the first month, January. The first month is January to us. I believe the first month is a different time for other people, but he was in Persia. So I assume this is the month of January and we are in the month of January. Praise the Lord right now. Okay. Chapter 
10 verse 7. I hope I'm not bouncing around too much for you. I'm just telling a story. I, Daniel, was the only one who saw the vision. That's what Daniel got. Now, those who hadn't consecrated themselves that were with him, this is what they got. Those who were with me did not see it, but such terror overwhelmed them that they fled and hid themselves. I was left alone gazing at this great vision. Okay, so there we understand this was a vision. This man was a vision. Now, even Daniel, who wasn't scared, this is what he experienced. I had no strength left. My face turned deathly pale, and I was helpless. Then I heard him speak, and as I listened to him, I fell into a deep sleep, my face to the ground. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow is not in the Bible. That's in my commentary. You guys, he fell out under the power of God. That's my understanding. That's just my understanding, okay? Now we're in verse 10. A hand touched me and set me trembling on my hands and knees. They woke him up. He said, Daniel, let me try to give you the voice. I'm a woman, but this is a great man's voice. He said, Daniel, you who are highly esteemed, consider carefully the words I am about to speak to you and stand up. He was able to stand up in the presence of God. For I have now been sent to you. Notice, guys, this ain't easy. Everybody else ran in terror. The blood rushed out of Daniel's body. He was pale as a ghost. He had no, deathly pale. He had no strength. It could have killed him had he had not been fast and he was helpless. He passed out. His face was on the ground. There was nobody around to save him. God touched him. Whoever hand was used, God touched him. And verse 10, a hand touched me and set me trembling. He's shaking on my hands and knees. He still couldn't get up. He was on his hands and knees trembling like he hadn't eaten and he'd been eating the whole time. He said, Daniel, you who are highly esteemed, I want to be highly esteemed. Consider carefully the words I am about to speak to you and stand up. For I have now been sent to you. And when he said this to me, I stood up trembling. Then he continued, do not be afraid. Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your gods, your, before your God, singular, your words were heard and I have come in response to them. But the prince of Persia, but the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me for 21 days. 21 days. We now fast 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Now I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people in the future. For the vision concerns a time yet to come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Hope this helps you. Jesus loves you. I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed.